Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Wednesday, November 23rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts as a tool and how they can be helped to make good decisions, then this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be changing and moving around along the candlestick right there. That is because the market is still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. Did this stock yesterday, COSM, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that watched that video, but I talked about quite extensively that red line there and how that was a key breakout point. And you can see this morning, a slight little gap up above it came back down, classic back test of that area acted as support. And then from there up, it's gone. And as I speak right now, the price is currently battling those highs. And that's why I mentioned earlier that I do like to do these videos when the market's open, because you can see how things play out. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust this level up here. That red line all the way down there is now irrelevant. So the next key level to watch and keep a close eye on moving forward is right up here at the 34 cent mark, which right now, like I said, is where the price is doing battle, but it's no shock that the price has, you know, kind of run out of steam a little bit here. There's still about 15 minutes before the market closes. So you're gonna need to ask yourself this when you watch the video by the time it goes live after the market closed, where did this one uh, close? If it closed up above 34 cents, you now know that a breakout is underway. How big of a breakout, how powerful of a breakout, well, how far up above 34 cents did the price actually close? So you wanna keep an eye on that one here and uh, you know, keep uh, you know that dynamic. Now, if the price pulls back, not the end of the world. That just you know. Re so as I speak right here, you can see knocking on that door. But if the price does close down below it, then the other level that you'd want to watch from a potential pullback point, right down here on the 25 cent mark, which even that is is pretty big pullback. But that just goes to show how uh, you know much movement this one had today. But yeah, all eyes on 34 cents. But like I said, if by the time you're watching this, the price is actually broken above it, just ask yourself how far above it and how over far up above it, the further up above, the more power the breakout has. Next P-A-L-I and nice little pattern here. Although a bit of a disappointing afternoon, not the end of the world or anything like that. Yes, there's been this pullback here, uh, but the price is maintaining up above that pink line there, which on my chart denotes the 200 period moving average, which is a good sign. Now there is a bit of perspective, meaning if you're a day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within you know, seven minutes, well, okay, well then from that point of view, the chart looks really, really bad. But assuming you care about more so the bigger picture point of view, uh, then you know as long as the price stays above that pink line there, you know what would you still have? Well, you'd still have a set of lows there, you'd have a set of lows there, you'd have lows, lows down there. And if you envision those as stair steps, you would still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. So again, by no means, means is it you know at the end of the world that the price is pulled back here but yeah preferably speaking it stays up above that 375 mark in terms of levels of resistance definitely the key area that you're going to want to watch very closely right up here at three dollars and 35 cents you can see several times earlier on in the day the price got right up around that area and yeah broke above it once but after the price fell back below it it just couldn't maintain or really build any sort of momentum after that but if the price does turn itself back around then that'll definitely be a, a very worthwhile question mark to ask yourself in, in regards to that area up there at the 535 mark. So let's see how it plays out on Wednesday. Next one, SOFI, talked about this one yesterday and the beat down continues. So quite a bit of repetition from yesterday's video, uh, but everything I talked about in yesterday's video has just been amplified by a whole nother day with the core point being that this downwards move has just gotten that much worse, that much more beat down. And when relatively popular stocks, which I would consider SOFI are beat down in the manner in which they are at some point, there's going to be some sort of worthwhile dead cat bounce. Now, I don't mean dead cat bounce in the sense of it goes all the way back here to where it was, but from a trading standpoint, you know, a, a worthwhile enough amount that where you can pull some profits from the market. So definitely keep an eye on that tread line there. That'll definitely be the, the main dynamic where if you're trying to measure, okay, has it bounced enough to show some strength? That's where that tread line comes into play. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, I mean, the, the absolute beat down of this thing, pretty crazy. And then also just from a curiosity point, I'm curious to see how the price is going to start to respect this trend line here. In fact, let me change that to green to represent more so a bullish dynamic. And we'll check on that, I'm sure, over the next couple of days. But yeah, right now, absolute beat down, but it is a popular enough stock. And it's been beat down enough where it seems like even just the smallest spark could create a worthwhile upwards bounce. Next one, IQ. And not nearly as popular as what I would consider SOFI, but certainly a big beat down. But the difference with this one is it's starting to show some strength. Last 30 minutes here. Nice green candle. Now, let me be very clear, and I wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because this thing got beat down and just because the last 30 minutes is starting to show some strength via volume and a nice green candle, it does not mean that for sure guaranteed, okay, bottom's in and this thing's going up, if only it were that easy. My point here is that it starts to become plausible to 
say, you know what, it's looking like it's reasonable to say that maybe this is some sort of bottom, maybe this is some sort of potential turnaround. Again, is that guaranteed? Absolutely not. Is it a reasonable conclusion to reach? For sure. So if you like to play this price range, if you like to play those scenarios where something has gotten beat down, now it's starting to show some signs of strength, I definitely keep an eye on this one. Next one here, AMC, not going to spend a lot of time on it because quite frankly, nothing has changed. Now, yes, of course, things have changed within today individually. Price went up, came back down, then went sideways. But when you take a step back and look at the bigger picture, uh, and then again, this will mean more to those of you that have watched past videos, but you see that this pattern here is still 100% in play and the price is still 100% you know, respecting. In fact, the price is essentially right in the middle of this entire pattern. So you got to think that there's going to be just that many more eyeballs watching it. And when you get enough eyeballs watching something, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. While it's not guaranteed, it's plausible to think that certain movements could create additional movement. And one of those key movements, just from a, a good old fashioned pattern breakout, got to think that pattern breakout players are watching that level. And if it breaks, they could just buy for the simple reason that, hey, I'm a breakout player. Hey, that's breaking out. Once more to reiterate, no guarantees, but that is certainly plausible. But yeah, overall, this bull pennant pattern continues. Real quickly, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more and more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free training. It'll be here in several days. So if you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen, then definitely get signed up for the free training. Next one, M-A-R-A, -A, and we have step one initiated and we've already gotten some movement. So what do I mean by that? Well, this goes back to those of you that watched yesterday's video, but if you did, hope you remember me talking about that initial tread line right there. And you can see that this morning, the power of tread line, check it out. That tread line was once again being very, very annoying. However, the price finally did break above it and got a bit of a, a little upwards move. Nothing huge, but it is at least you know, making a little bit of an upwards pressure. And now the price is within striking distance of that secondary tread line right there. And in along and doing all this, the price has now started to put in a couple of small higher lows. As I mentioned earlier, just because these dynamics have occurred does not mean this is for sure the bottom and for sure the price is going to go upwards, but it certainly is a whole lot more plausible now than when the price was just simply dropping, 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 dropping. So yes, it's not a guarantee, but uh, it's just a matter of kind of make, making a case of plausibility. And I would argue the cause of or the plausibility has shifted, has shifted more here to being more reasonable that, okay, Got that tread line broken. Is this some sort of leading indicator of a bottom being formed and a bigger move back up? Let's see how it goes on Wednesday. Next one, TSLA Tesla. Got the tread line break here. So I wanted to put this one strategically because same general premise. Got the tread line break. Price is now going sideways here a little bit. Even has a slight upwards trend. Does that mean that this is for sure the bottom on Tesla? Of course not. You can't say that. But in terms of building a case of plausibility, has things become more plausible? I believe so. So I'm not going to spend any more of your time on it. Repeat myself. Same exact general idea of what we just talked about with MRA, MARA. We're just now applying it here to Tesla. Next one, AMD. And we have ourselves a fantastic, what I would call self-fulfilling prophecy point right here at $75.50. You can see this was a former area of support. So just a classic example of a former support then turning into resistance. And once again, that's the big question mark headed into Wednesday. Will it again be a level of resistance? Not a great discovery, not a special talent on my part. A whole lot of eyeballs are gonna be watching and asking this very same question. So that's what a watch list is all about. Finding those interesting, finding those unique situations, not randomly rushing out and buying anything, but watching. So if you like to play breakouts or potential breakouts, then def, def, you know this is one that I would certainly keep an eye on. But yes, all eyes on 7550 for AMD. Next one, MULN and the bleeding continues. It's now broken through both of these levels and that, that those levels were very important because this was essentially the bottom part of this really longer term sideways channel and that you know hyphen green line was more so kind of the grace area. Like, okay, I'll give it a little bit of grace and not say it's a full blown breakout or breakdown, but yeah, now the price is not anywhere close to those areas. So these would be considered levels of resistance now, which is just based on a foundational rule and charting. When levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So yeah, if there is any sort of bounce back in the upwards direction, 26 cents is certainly, actually I'm gonna adjust that down because it's more so now 25 cents is gonna be that main area of resistance. So keep an eye on that if there is any sort of attempted bounce. As far as levels of support, next key level here, and we're going way back into the charts history, is gonna be that level down there at the 22 cent mark. 
And then after 22 cents, next key level down there at 21. And if 21 fails, because this is going back to you know October, I mean, that's putting the price down at lows that as you see here, have not been seen for quite literally months upon months upon months. But yeah, as of now, the beat down continues. Next one, TQQQ, and this is a very popular ETF that allows you to make money if you believe that the NASDAQ market is going to go up. And this will certainly mean more those you have watched past videos, in fact, several past videos, because if you have, you know I've talked about that red line over and over and over again. But check it out this morning, <laughs> twice in a row, the power of trend lines, the power of charts. So another quick plug, get signed up for that free training. But you can see this morning, twice the price knocked it down. And then finally, once the price did clear through it, the rest was history, a beautiful, beautiful trend line break. And that's where a lot of these other stocks that I've been talking about that either have maybe just started those trend line breaks are worth keeping an eye on because if those are just the leading indicator, then yeah, you could get some good solid follow through, but very nice day here on TQQQ. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that line right there as it served its purpose. And the next key breakout level to now watch and next potential level of resistance that could uh, very well present some problems up there at 2250. You can see once, twice, three times the price has been up around that area and not been able to push through it. Does that mean that the price will never be able to push through it? No, absolutely not. But I'm just saying that uh, I don't think anybody would be shocked if the price does have some problems at 2250. So that'll be that main area of resistance. As far as levels of support and key level, that's where we have that green line down there, which is currently valued at $20 and about 90 cents. But yeah, got the trend line break today. Let's see if that carries it up to 2250. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the class. As I said, it'll be several days on Thursday, December 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. If you enjoy these live trade or if you enjoy these top 10 videos, uh, by the way, check out my live trade videos too. But if you enjoy these top 10 videos, then do two things for me. Hit that like, like button, leave a simple comment down below. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. Um, tell me what you're doing for Thanksgiving. But uh, you know, those things go a long way. Help out the YouTube algorithm, help out the channel. So I thank you in advance. But yeah, definitely get signed up for that free training. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below.